Stop hiding from who you really are. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in leaving behind the pain, the limiting stories of the past and rise victorious in your true design life. You can only rise victorious in your true design life if you stop pretending to be someone else, stop hiding from who you are. There's a lot of us, particularly we spiritual people who are hiding the spiritual side of us. We pride ourselves on being very practical. That was me. I became the pharmacist and then I became the property investor or real estate investor. And then I became the business coach, you know, with the tips and the tricks and the strategies. And then slowly but surely, I started to say yes to my soul, to the things that I really really felt were quite important. The things that had actually carried me through life, like my connection with the divine, that to me is like the most important thing on the planet. If you hear my children in the background, ignore all of that. <laughs> I used to even hide my children. Actually, when I became a property investor, when I became a real estate investor, I, I felt that nobody needed to see that I had three very young children. So I used to like run away from them in the house when they were like yelling, mommy, mommy, mommy. I'd be running away trying to hold these, you know, important phone calls. Ultimately, I didn't want anybody to know that I was a mother because I thought they wouldn't take me seriously. And so I used to hide all parts of myself. And you know what? For a long time, I really even thought that I would be a pharmacist for the rest of my life because I felt that that was the, the most practical thing to do. I'm so thankful that I went through bankruptcy. I'm so thankful that I went through a four-year depression. I'm so thankful that I woke up to who I am. I'm so thankful for finally getting support from people who said to me, Rosemary, a coach particularly said to me, who, what do you really want to do? Because all of this other stuff you seem to be doing seems to just be something you feel you have to do. And I would say the same thing to you, my love. If you felt there were no limitations, if you really truly believed that you were supported by the universe, by God, by the divine, whatever you want to call it, that you were completely loved, that there was no mistake about the, 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 the dreams and the desires and the skills and the talents and the experiences in that you've been through, that you have, if you really believed that there was no, that you were completely supported, what actually would you want to be doing with your life? What actually would you want to be spending your time doing? Who would you like to be around and who would you no longer be around if you're honest? Stop hiding who you are. Stop hiding from yourself. You long to prosper. I know you're something like, you're, you're someone like me. You know you're born for something more. You know you're called to something more. You long for a life of of, of luxury and significance and changing lives and also creating a heck of a lot of wealth. You don't want to give up on any of those things. And yet you do every day when you hide from who you are, because it is you, the real you that is going to experience the life that you dream of. It's not going to be this fake version of you. It's not going to be this muted version of you that you think the world wants from you. It's not going to be this version of you that, that pretends you can, you can just keep settling for all of this, for the people. I mean, I, I know people are wonderful, yes, and we love all people, but it doesn't mean you have to be around all kinds of people, let's be honest, okay? There are certain people you're called to that would actually, you know, when you're around them, the energy that you guys would share, it would inspire you rather than feeling drained all the time. The work that you could be doing with clients you absolutely adore. The health you could be experiencing because you're no longer forcing yourself to do things that you think you have to do, but really you don't want to do. Do you understand how much energy that takes? You're having to stifle your inner child, your inner feminine all the time. I don't care whether you're male or female. You're having to stifle the energized, vibrant part of you in order to fit yourself into this limited box that you tell yourself you have to live in. And your bank balance would tell a tale of, I am enjoying life. I am loved. When you finally say yes to you, instead of continually hiding the parts of you that you think are unacceptable, 
Yes, there are going to be some people who don't like the, those parts of you, but you're not called to everybody. So what if they don't like those, those parts of you? So what? There's seven point God knows what billion people on the planet. Do you think that there might be people who actually want you? Do you realize that for some people, you would literally be the divine to them? You are their channel. You are their, their connection to God. You being you. You being you. Not this false version of you. This, I know, yeah, we want to be practical people, but we want to be all of ourselves. Not just this little portion of ourselves that we think is acceptable to the world. No. It's like now I sing, I speak, I do whatever I like, talk about God, you know, download the stuff from the divine and, and put it and give it to my clients. And, and these things are helping people. All this stuff that I hid from for so long. What are you hiding from, my love? Your true prosperity is going to come alive, is going to, is going to flourish and bloom when you start saying yes to you rather than continually say no to the parts of you that you think are unacceptable in the world yes it's going to take courage it's going to take courage but you have that you've just been using it in the wrong place <laughs> you have that honey it's time to wake up to who you really truly are it's time to be who you really truly are it's time to recondition your mind so you stop saying no to you. Listen, honey, you need to come into the abundance library. You need to rewire your mindset because you've been conditioned to think small in a little box. You've been conditioned to think that you have to live limited. You've been conditioned to play small. And it's time to wake up. It's time to start questioning things that limit you. It's time to start saying yes to the parts of you that have been crying out for release. It's time to start saying yes to the divine within you who is whispering at you saying, come on, you know there's more. Let's come alive again. Because you do sometimes feel quite dead inside, if you're honest. You do sometimes feel quite stagnant. You don't have to be that way. You can wake up. You can be vibrant. You can experience an abundant life in every single area of your life. If you would say yes to you, start in the abundance library. Message me the word abundance and I will get the details over to you. This is a collection of all the programs, most of the programs that I've done all designed to support you in rewiring your mindset, all designed to support you in leaving behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past, all designed to support you in owning your true design, all designed to support you in the practical aspects as well as the, the internal mindset shifts that you need in order to start saying yes to you. If it was as easy as just saying, okay, I'm just going to say yes, we would already have done it, would we not? It's time to admit that you do need a little bit of support, that you do need to immerse yourself in a different way of thinking in order for you to finally say yes to you. Come into the Abundance Library. Come now, okay? It is time to say yes to you. It is time to take back dominion over your money, over your relationships, over your own freaking energy. It is time. Message me the word abundance. Share this video with somebody else. Stop hiding from yourself. Awaken. Much amazing love. Mwah. Bye.